it's unit number 10. So please expect a question on the GAMSA to do with osmosis or, or diffusion or something like that. Because there's usually one question about this topic. And uh, this particular one is asking about uh, isotonic or isosmotic. Just to give you a little bit of background, uh, first of all, there's three spaces in your body. There's three spaces in everybody. And, uh, you know, the spa for fluids, and this, there's the space within your blood vessels, which is called the intravascular space. And then there's a space inside of your cells, which is the intracellular space. And then there's the space uh, that outside of your cells and bathes your cells. And uh, that's called the extracellular space. It is also called uh, the interstitial space. And in medicine and surgery, usually it's just called the third space. Um, so, and this is related, this question is related to uh, um, the intercellular and, and the third space the extracellular space. So uh, just also as a background, you know that water is a small molecule. It's polar, but there's no formal charge on it. And it crosses the plasma membrane freely. Like the plasma membrane does have a fatty interior part, and it has protein and so on that's down the membrane. And they're also uh, on either side of the membrane. But um, water can uh, go quite freely. But there are many particles and molecules and whatever that cannot freely go across the membrane. And that's why the membrane is an important example of a semi-permeable membrane. Permeable to something, but not to others. And uh, but water does diffuse uh, freely across the membrane. And so uh, the other concept I have in my mind, of course, is osmosis. You know, what is osmosis? And um, osmosis is simply the diffusion of water across the semi-permeable membrane. Keep in mind that things that diffuse move from high concentration to low concentration. That's the diffusion from high to low concentration. And these things get more random and disorganized, and entropy increases, uh, delta S increases, and, and so on. Um, you don't have to know all that for this particular question, but it's the good things to keep in the back of your mind. And so, uh, because water diffuses across the semi-permeable membrane, it goes from high water concentration to low water concentration. It means that if you have high water concentration, you have relatively low solute concentration. So, low solute is hypotonic. Hypo means below or low. Um, and uh, likewise, uh, where you have low water concentration, you have high solute concentration or hypertonic. So anyway, here it's isotonic or isoosmotic, and iso in biology and chemistry usually means the same. So that means it's the same tonicity or concentration of solutes on both sides of the membrane. It means that there is no reason for the water to have a net migration in either direction. Uh, because the tonicity of uh, the solutes are the same, that means the water concentration on both sides of the membrane is the same. So there is no net diffusion of water across the membrane. So, um, so in the question, uh, if the tonicity is the same on both sides, and it's isoosmotic, then uh, the concentration of water on both sides of the membrane must be the same. And by the way, uh, I just want to underline the fact that I said the word net a couple of times. And it's because in equilibrium, uh, equilibriums are dynamic. There's lots of moving back and forth. And so water will be moving on both sides of the membrane, but there will be no net movement in, in either direction. So the answer is D, uh, water and you know, some membrane dynamics and so on should should be reviewed. Just the basics, you know, it's part of the eukaryotic cell, and that's bio 1.1.1, and in the circulatory system, um, 7.5.2 and 7.6.